Well, and welcome back to some Quest for Glory 4 Shadows of Darkness. Today's gonna be easy. I know exactly what I wanna do, and I wanna go to Baba Yaga. Because I think I figured out the final step for the pie with many, many hints that all went over my head initially. <laughs> but I think I think I finally got it, so let's see if I'm right. <laughs> But first we're gonna kill this wolf thing. Oh, it's... It was doing okay damage. I was worried it was gonna get into a rhythm of just boom, 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 boom. But no, we're out of there pretty quick. That's not too bad. Now on a Baba Yaga. <laughs> Searching for the fallen beast, you find nothing of value. Oh, do I have corn? I think I do. All right, time to test the theory. So, did you get it? Show me. I won't let you in without it. Ooh, okay. Looking good. Now show it to the head skull over there and get out of the way fast if you don't want to add rump roast to the Baba's menu for tonight. That didn't do anything. Looking good. Now show it to the head skull. Head skull over there? Okay. Yay! The skulls appear to have stopped flashing their lasers. You pick up the pie. It's been so that makes sense. I would just show it to the skull and be like, here, it's done. Hey, bird legs! Squat! Oh, and I don't even need the corn anymore. Oh, that's lovely. You could have done that the whole time, though. You're not a good skull friend. Maybe waste my corn. Step out from under the trap. A moment later, you hear the voice of Baba Yaga. Not very trusting, is he, kids? Good. It's not like I trust him. Floor, quick, make him stick. You find your shoes stuck to the floor. Spirits of the swamp and mire, aid me in what I desire. Creatures of the mist, beings of the fog, turn this human into a cute hedgehog. Aww. That's cuter than a frog. I have a craving for a tiggly wiggly. Perhaps some hedgehog It's better than a titty wiggle. Hedge piggly swiggly. <laughs> And the pig Newton. Hedgehog Grog. Hedge of piggies. Okay. What's that you say? Elderberry pie. Oh, darn. He was bringing that here. Yeah, did you turn that into a hedgehog too? I don't suppose a piggly wiggle can get the pie from his backpack, could he? Particularly if his feet are stuck to the floor. I mean, that shouldn't. Oh, that should be fine if I'm stuck to the floor and still acts as a backpack. Spirits Being a hedgehog. It's more of the issue. This man as he was before. So now my dining delight. Do you have what I asked for? I do have a pie. Hold on, I want to grab something really quick though. Only because it's like three feet away from me. Because I have a little hedgehog right next to me. It looks like a Valentine's Day hedgehog, but it's a mushroom. And I named him Buttons. I needed him for a Halloween costume, but I love him nonetheless. Okay, I need, well, it's right there. I can get from here. Here's your pie. He's easy. That smells delicious. Just the way we like it. Fresh from the fire. Mm -hmm. So, let me think. How should I reward you for such a lovely pie? Well, kitty, should we just fry him now? Or for an entree, have green spleen casserole with the roast leg of man? Alright, let's just get things over with, shall we? Oh, alright. I suppose he did do us a favor. It wouldn't be polite to eat him now. Besides, he may be useful in the future. 
Savar is it that you want as a reward for your lovely pie? Make the gnome not unbearable? Is that what I want? Ask for something different. Ah, I'll do the gnome. the gnome. And how he wants his humor back. Humor, is it? You want this sense of humor? I'm not sure the gnome really had a sense of humor. Making fun of poor old ogresses. Oh, all right. Take this good humor bar and give Should have asked for something gnome. different. I suppose there is nothing more pathetic than a gnome who can't tell a joke. You take the good humor bar and put it away. I just got the worst feeling that this is going to make the gnome worse. You've got what you want. Oh. Tasty treat. Okay, fine. Well, I guess she liked the pie, or you would have taken its place. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, a good humor bar. I, what? What is this? What is this supposed to be? It looks like a um, orange cream sickle. Barbear's has an ice cream bar on a stick. It hasn't melted the whole time you've been carrying it. it. Feels kind of funny in your hand. Okay. We have that now. Great bone head. Return of the red hot lovers, eh? Sure. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm gonna try it on things. You sneak a tiny taste of the good humor bar. It tastes kind of funny. Yep. Thanks. That didn't do it. All right. Um, I'm still thinking about the, um. It's round and smooth and hard. You've seen better trees to climb. Sorry, the ritual After that's all, really in the want to end up hangman's tree. Here. Searching it, you. Not anything inside. You've seen better. I definitely like touch this guy. Yep. You've seen better. That. That. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more clicking around. That you've seen better. Hmm. Alright, I give up. Back to Mr. Bones at home, and also I'm gonna hang on to my little hedgehog here. I don't know why. Now that it's in my lap, it will never go away. Now oh, this is the stupidest pick place to pick a fight, dude. Like we're one screen away. We're just gonna go. I'm just gonna go and find, yeah, Mr. Bones in the inn, in his room. Easy peasy. Good day, and good to see you again. Same as always. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely gonna make him worse. <laughs> I'm not excited for this. <laughs> On breakfast. And we can talk about Tanya. Breakfast. Fried beets and oh, that sounds good. Garlic for garnish. Yes. Um, did I ask about dreams? Even my husband has dreams sometimes. I keep trying to tell him to I think I noticed I didn't ask her about this last time. They are trying. Okay, nothing exciting. I used to see yeah. now that I okay. Thank you for breakfast. I will go now. Into the room of Mr. Bones the gnome. Yep. A voice from behind the door says, Oops, sorry. Seems I forgot about my burglar alarm. Hope yep. it wasn't too shocking for you. Mm-hmm. Was this guy walking into an inn with this big necrotor following him? Uh huh. He goes up to the innkeeper and asks for some stew to eat. The innkeeper looks nervously at the necrotor and asks the man what his pet will eat. And the guy replies, anyone he wants. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Technically a joke. You hand the gnome the good humor bar. Watch this, you trying the old hot pepper bar on me? Hey, I'm the professional kid. I like how he spelled it professional. I'm a gnome anyway. Hey, it looks good though. He eats the good humor bar. Not bad, pretty good actually. Hey, I feel funny. I mean, really funny. What was that thing? 
apparently it was laced. <laughs> after I gave it to him. Guess this yuck's on me. This jester just can't thank you too much. You're my hero, Nero. My main man, Stan. <sighs> Alright, so that's solved. I want to steal things. But I won't. So you got by with a pie, I my my. Always knew the oh, way to so now he just rhymes. Stomach. Probably someone she ate. You know what they say about cannibals? Always having a few friends over for dinner. Okay. Do you have anything to talk about? I am so happy that it reminds me of the time Dim Lit the Dwarf came across a magic ring in the bazaar in Shapir. He rubbed it, and lo and behold, out comes a genie. I will grant you three wishes, said the genie. Well, for my first wish, I want a place that's always filled with gold, said Dim. So shall it be done, said the genie. There before Dimlin appeared a purse. He turned it over, and a pile of gold spilled out on the desert. And again and again he turned it over, and more and more gold covered the ground. Master, you do have two more wishes left, said the genie. Oh, that's right, said the dwarf. Well, give me two more of these. Let me tell you, I'm every bit as happy as Dimlin was. Okay. <laughs> You know what they say about humor? If you don't got it, you won't get it. And if you don't get it, I'm sure someone will try to explain it at great length. A flying rumor never has any trouble making a landing. I heard that the shopkeeper's husband left her because she was such a scold. She was a person who was quick on the floor. When she wanted his opinion, she gave it to him. Interesting that we're talking well, about that. now that, that I'm back in the funny business, it's one more show and I'm back on the road. I'm gonna show these yokels that he who laughs last just didn't get it. Cool. All right. It was <clears throat> it was good to talk to you, Mr. Bones. I'm leaving. Before you blow, Joe, I figure I owe you one. I'm gonna let you in on a secret only we gnomes know. I'm gonna oh, tell that you almost the worked. ultimate joke. Don't win, Vince. This is straight, mate. You tell this one, and whoever hears it is gonna laugh. Really oh. laugh. Can't help it. Can't Isn't that a solution for one of the other games? Only works once. They laugh themselves to death? I don't know. Yeah, no, just, just give me, give me the thing. The gnome tells you a rather silly joke. You find yourself laughing despite yourself. See what I mean, G? Tell this joke to a big bad dude that's Oh, the, the, end, the goons. While he's laughing. Use it or lose it. Bye bye, goons. My, uh, my obvious instant reaction is the goons. <laughs> right? I'm just gonna go straight there. I'm just gonna go straight there. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna try it. What else are we doing today? <laughs> Let's go to me. Alright, there should be an autosave here, so I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. I'm gonna block. And then we're gonna tell them a joke so funny that they forget that they're going to murder me. Can I just see that from here? Those two guards about the size of thousand year old redwood trees guarding the What if I tell them a funny joke? You know, there are those two huge goop No one seems mm -mm. right. Do I have the joke as an item? Don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna sit here for a while again being silly. Sorry. That did yep, I don't think that- that didn't seem to be the answer to that, so I am going to exit the castle. Okay, I'm gonna go down- since I'm like right next to the Lishi, I'm gonna see what the Lishi has to say about all of this. 
since I'm right next to the leashy, I said. <laughs> Where am I going? There he is. Okay. Hi. Yeah, see if he... Yes, he has any comments. Since I've talked about Bianca. And this is something that just might unveil itself over time, what getting the gnome humor back actually does. And then tomorrow night I need to go see Katrina at the castle. Ten and twelve make twenty-two! This killer yep. hungry, hunting sheep. Alright, that was fun. I'm looking at the rituals. <clears throat> looking at my list of where things are. So there's one ritual. There's three rituals left. One is um, with Gregory in the forest. One is Oliver hanging in this tree. And one is um, Squidstone underneath the Dark One sign. Which that one is perplexing. Because I went there for a while and tried to figure that out. Um, I'm going to go back to the Hollow of the Hanging Moon's tree. I want to try one more thing there. <laughs> after I murdered this bunny. Come on, get murdered, bunny. I'm here all day, murdering bunnies. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know you're a sweetheart. Everyone loves you. Yeah, I was just thinking about how I got all the other rituals and they all involved using the dark one sign on the thing. If I could click correctly. That didn't do that. That didn't that. What are you? Are you familiar with this thing? Why don't you just move in instead of coming in and out all the time? Sorry. That didn't. Fair enough. You don't. That yeah, didn't don't need to worry that. that. Okay. That was just a thought. That's not what I meant to pick up. Why can I not click things today? That did, that. A huge old gnarled oak nestles a large rock under its roots as if it were hatching an egg. An ancient dried corpse. So this egg thing, okay, that's going to be significant. That didn't. And like when he does it's this, round and smooth. but I want to touch it. This is not a good. I want to touch it. This is. Is there anything I can do with the egg? That did. You want this? <laughs> Don't know why I'm bothering. It's a that long walk for. It. Yep. Oh. Baba Yaga speaks I'm gonna die. Cut so true, glue his shoes. You find yep. your feet. Oh, well, let's see if there's anything else here. Face. I hope for your sake you brought us something to eat. Um, no. Now, Any rumors? There is a slim chance. I don't. Do you want this sandwich? That is not something we consider at Okay, fine, 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 fine. Do you have anything to say about I'm this? I'm getting hungrier, and you aren't giving me anything good to eat yet. I'm going to die, but that's okay, because I'm going to try things on her. Enough of this. If you won't give me something... All right. Oh. Also, yes, I... I saw in the last second green eggs and man which is one of the good ones okay uh don't forget to bring something suitably gruesome to gnaw on besides yourself okay so there doesn't seem to be anything i can do with the tree yet why is this game being feisty okay <laughs> i need you there then okay Still haven't come across anyone named Gregory in the forest. I have any knowledge of him. Tanya, I still need to figure out what to do with her. Don't know what the next step there is. 
And then, um, yeah, I don't know what else we have. While I'm down here, I want to check in on the result because it's been a while, but I'm not expecting too much. I should at least talk to her and see if she has anything new to say. Hello again. Just checking in. Being undead is not so bad. Yep. The lake's not a bad place to stay, except when it freezes. Yep. There is some sort of enchantment about the swamp. It seems that all paths lead to the tomb. That swamp is a really bad place. Alright, that is nothing new. So, how- You certainly have had a time of it here. Right. Nothing new from her. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. I want to try to give her things. Dang it. Hello. Um, specifically, I, I've just been thinking about this locket. That didn't do it. That no. Okay. I don't know who would want that. Dark one symbol. That did. I can try that on enough people. <laughs> Probably for the best. That did. Mostly just thinking about new things that I have. They make sense. You don't. Alright. That was fun. Wait! <laughs> I keep thinking of things as I leave the screen. I want to check out that tree. <laughs> it doesn't. You don't know whether the climate is right to climb it. A tall tree intrudes. Okay. The tree was nothing. On to I think I'm gonna look at the frickin' cave again. I can't I can't help myself. You feel a little guilty. Okay. I clicked around for a couple minutes, nothing really happened. The path It's getting dark out. I'm gonna. The Burgermeister's office is. Oh, so it's just already closed. I was gonna say I'm about to walk around and talk to people. I'm gonna see if Dr. Cranium's free to visit. Yeah. It doesn't. Say, welcome. Nothing new there. Oh, the gnome's here. So you're back. No, it's your front. Take a seat. No, take two. They're small. I got a joke just for you, so don't look so sheepish. All right, settle in, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, and all you others, I'd like to say how glad I am to be here. I'd like to say it. Seriously, folks, staying at the Hotel Mordavia has been like staying at a resort. A last resort. My room is so small, the mice are hunchback. I couldn't even complain about the room service. There wasn't anything to complain about. And the innkeeper's wife really went out of her way to make me feel at home. She ignored me completely. Don't you dare talk about Bella well, that so way. Visit the local doctor. She's you a know, sweetheart. The cranium. He's the guy with the three pairs of glasses. One for nearsightedness, one for farsightedness, and one to look for the other two. I said to the doctor, my heart keeps making a strange noise. It keeps going tick, tick, tick. Ha ha, said Dr. Cranium. We have ways of making you talk. Next, I went to visit the local store. If you don't know what's up, then you haven't seen their prices lately. And the shopkeeper, what a gossip. She suffers from acute indiscretion. I dislike repeating gossip, but uh, what else can you do with it? And boy, oh boy, the monster's in this place. If I ever come face to face with a revenant, I know what steps I take. Long ones. What would I do if ever I saw a necrotor? Hope it didn't see me. Actually, folks, I'm up here for a good reason. A jester's ambition is to be healthy, wealthy, and wisecracking. 
If it weren't for my friend the hero over there, I couldn't make a hyena laugh. So, when you've lost your wit, broken your funny bone, and none of your puns are fun, it helps to have a hero handy. That's what I do. You know, that reminds me very little of the story about the grave digger who was so bored, he buried himself in his work. You know, I could tell you some more jokes, but you'd only laugh at them. So long and be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. The gnome takes a deep bow and gets down off the stage. That's funny, you always thought he got down off a duck. Ah, the townspeople explode into spontaneous applause. Thanks, narrator. Keep smiling, it makes people wonder what you've been up to. So, was that funny or are you just keeping your mouth shut? Better. So I can't look really aim today. Uh, not very. Alright, what do you, uh, what do you have for me? It's good to have my wit about me again. Nothing worse than someone who can't take a joke or one that tries to tell one and can't. Before you help me, when I told a joke, people always clapped their hands. Unfortunately, it was always over their ears. This is now, weird. whenever I tell a joke, I get carried away. So this I is something they added in post, it feels like. <laughs> like, oh god, we forgot to give the gnome lines. Did you hear the one about the dwarf who is so dumb, he always stops to think and then forgets to start again? <sighs> Everything that's said to him goes in one ear and out the other. There's nothing there to block traffic. I can tell dwarf jokes all day, mainly because there are none around to stop. Dude, John Reese Davies is literally right there. In another minute, I'm gonna say my bye bye and fly. I'm going south for the How winter. How do you get in and out of here? Can I follow you? Okay. Where there's no snow nor cold wind to blow. Up here, the winter is so cold, even the wind howls about it. Ah. Okay. Enough already. And then, can I talk to these nice fellows? The gnome. You know, he wasn't such a bad person. I won't click for them today. To That's yeah, the kind of person I am right now. Problem, we'd welcome him in Moldavia if he ever came back. I still wouldn't let him marry me. No, daughter. God, no, no. Yeah. You don't have a daughter. Well, that might constitute a major obstacle to marrying her. Yeah, right. Anything new on the town's Gentlemen, folks? Gentlemen, I was dangerously close to being amused this evening. Oh, I'll tell you, I had a great time, a great time! Laughed so hard, I almost lost my lunch. Great. Now that was an evening of, thank goodness, rare entertainment. It was okay. I laughed till I stopped. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it was boffo. I even got some of the jokes. Boffo. All right, it was lovely to talk to all of you as usual. Mm -hmm. Okay. Innkeeper, what you got? The gnome. The gnome was very odd and said very strange things. Yet Mr. Bones was very funny. This time, and I enjoyed <laughs> this listening time. to him. Say that more menacingly. <laughs> more entertainment act at this hotel, understood? At least not until a new funny entertainment arrives. I think I am sorry to see the strange gnome leave. It was odd being able to laugh again. Yeah. If only for just a moment. The little things. Dinner. And talk to Bella and have dinner. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna just go to the room. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to my room. I'm thinking if I wanna like come down for anything. Like the um well, it's so long, it's been nice to know you. I like I know. You. I have no taste, but I like you. If you ever make it to Silmaria, look me up. I never Is this friend, supposed to be the fifth game? I'm still not sure if I'm gonna play the fifth game. Yep, yep. So everyone, I'll leave you with this story. A man runs up to his doctor and says, Doc, you gotta help me. I keep thinking I'm a goat. The doctor asked, How long have you had this delusion? The guy replied, Ever since I was a kid. Ba -da -boom. That 
just goats to show you. I'm one bad dude. It's been sheer pleasure here, but I'm gonna take it on the lamb and just bleed it. Be seeing you. Yep, good to see you. Weirdly enough, that reminds me, I did have a dream last night where I was trying to, like, make a joke about, like, something about, like, a kid, and, like, a goat and a kid, and I couldn't figure out the joke, and that was my dream. My dream was trying to figure out a joke about a kid. I don't... I don't know why, but that just reminded me of that. That's so weird. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking there's anything I want to go down for a night like the devil boy who said he was gonna bother the Burgomeister So I'm tempted to go down and see if he's at the Burgomeister's overnight. Or there might other be other um, There might be other nighttime wanderings that might be worth it. I don't know. I'm looking at my map I'm trying to think through it, but not sure. I am not sure, but I'm gonna leave it here I'm not gonna go to bed yet I'm gonna Think about if there's any nighttime stuff before next time. So thanks again. Got through Baba Yaga, got the Gnomus humor back, ended out that storyline, so that was good. See you next time we play some more Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. Bye. Not bad, pretty good actually. Hey, I feel funny. I mean really funny. What was that thing?